So we just talked about the roads. The weather also created problems for flights in and out of the Greater Rochester International Airport with a large number of cancellations and delays dotting the big board. Meteorologist James Gilbert joining us now live from the airport with a closer look at the impact the weather is having there. James, what are you seeing? Adam, right now, looking at the arrivals, we're seeing about 75 either percent either delayed or canceled. I mean, this storm system, you've got snowfall in the upper peninsula of Michigan, Wisconsin, extending eastward into uh, New Hampshire, Vermont. Cold front moving all the way down into the panhandle of Florida. So really impacting a large portion of the United States. And so many flights that are leaving Rochester, of course, have been canceled or delayed. I spoke with a man earlier that's been here since 4 o'clock clock in the morning. I had a conversation with another guy that uh, actually usually spends his summers or his winters, I should say, out of Rochester in Las Vegas. And uh, he had to come back for a funeral and that was delayed on the flight. He usually drives out there, but no problems there. It was the flight that he had the problems on. The only thing I worry about is the drive out there sometimes. We run into, in the, especially in the Midwest, some storms, St. Louis. Uh, as far as flights, this is the first time I've ever been canceled. We're still waiting, of course, on the rain to start to moving into the region. It's knocking on our doorstep, but our drive to the airport from the station wasn't too bad. Conditions are slowly but surely getting better. Once that salt starts to take a little bit more of a hold and those plows can continue to do their work on the roads. As far as the airport, looks like the flights for tomorrow should be on time. Adam, back to you. All right, James, thank you. A reminder to download the free News 8 app. You can get minute-by-minute -minute weather and the latest on delays and cancellations. Very important on days like this. It's available for Apple and Android devices.